Salvete omnes, I'm Dr. Lindsay Scholl bringing you another edition of The Roman Minute, where you can sample a little bit of Rome in about a minute. But today's going to take longer because we're getting help with Latin, specifically deep situational problems such as dependency and cause and effect. Or more concisely, we're dealing with conditional clauses. Do you see this child hanging on this man's arm? This is a picture of dependency. This child needs this man, otherwise the child will go flying. Think of this child and this man as an if-then statement. Grammatically, the man can stand on his own, but the child is highly dependent. The cause clause is dependent. If the child lets go, then he will go flying. He will go flying can stand on its own. It's not dependent. The protasis is a name for the if clause. The apotasis is a name for the then clause. Just so you know. Here are two examples. If I have a job, then I get paid. If I were a wealthy man, then I wouldn't have to work hard. But there's a difference. If I have a job, I get paid. It's all in the indicative. If I were a wealthy man, it's all in subjunctive. Why the difference? Well, one is if this happens, then this will necessarily happen. If I have a job, I necessarily get paid. If I drop an apple, it necessarily falls. This can even be stated mathematically. If 4x plus 16 equals 24, then x must necessarily be 2. Although a Roman might say it like this. But if I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. You see, this isn't the case. If I were a wealthy man, but I'm not, so I do. So the first examples I showed you were simple conditionals, and they took an indicative. The latter example was contrary to fact conditional, which takes a subjunctive. There are more examples of the simple conditional here. You see that it's all in the indicative, and the tense is, well, whatever makes sense. Simple conditionals also have fun names. Future most vivid, if I shall do this saying, I shall be wrong. Future more vivid, I'll take the job if they hire me. There's no sense of the subjunctive here, but it's not present tense. The subjunctive conditionals also have exciting names. Future less vivid, if the dog were to obey, he would be rewarded. Present contrary to fact, if I were a rich man, but I'm not, and then the example you see there. And then past contrary to fact, if I'd have only known. And here's a great table that I borrowed from the internet so you can see all the different combinations. Thank you, California State University Northridge, for letting me hijack this page. But there's a lot of information here, so I suggest that you pause me and write this stuff down, or at least read it. Now that you've processed all of that, I'm going to sign off. I'm Dr. Lindsay Scholl, bringing you the Roman Minute and wishing you Pax Vobiscum.